Java for Beginners Part 4. Uh, in this lesson, we're going to look at a couple different uh, data types. We're going to look at integers, doubles, and booleans. Now, there are other types in Java, but these are the three that we will focus on for now, at least. Um, so something you have to understand about computers is that um, numbers, uh, well, as I say, data in general has a type. So let's start with a basic type, um, an integer. Um, so, for example, let's say we have int i, and we'll set that equal to 20. Okay, so what we're saying to the computer is that the variable i is going to represent an integer, and in this case, we've assigned that value to be 20. Um, then we also have something called a double type, and this one I'm going to use x, and I'm going to say equals 6.0. 6 so the difference between an int and a double is that the int uh, does not have a decimal place, as you can see. A double does allow for decimals. And then the third type I want to look at here is a Boolean. Um, now, a Boolean comes from Boolean algebra, uh, I guess invented by a guy named Bool. Uh, so look what I do here. Now, you have to understand that Booleans only have two possible values, true or false. They cannot be any other value. And notice how I did this here. Um, this is a convention. So because it's true or false, I'm using is. So is is going to return either yes or no, or true or false. So for example, is tired? Yes, I am tired. So let's try and print this out a little bit. So I'm going to use system.out.println. And I'm going to try i. Actually, let me uh, delete that. And I'm going to copy this, because I'm going to be typing it over and over again. Um, I, and I'm going to do X. So let us run it and see what kind of result we get. And if all goes well, we'll see 20 and we'll see 6.0. Okay. Now notice, or note, I could have also done this, declared it, and then set I equal to 20, and we should have the exact same result. Going once, there we go. Okay, but I'm just going to keep that compact and do it on one line. Now, uh, next thing is I'm going to leave a blank line on the screen. And just as a reminder, I'm going to use quotation marks here. If you recall from the previous lesson, uh, strings, this is a string, so i plus x. And if I run that, think, think, think ahead, what do you think I'm going to see? And we're going to see, hopefully, i plus x. Remember, anything inside the quotation marks is interpreted literally, or not even interpreted, just printed out literally. So if I change that to i plus x, actually I'll, tell you what, I'll leave that on the screen, just as a reminder, and we'll go i plus x. So I run that, and we should see, hopefully 26, is it 26 or 26.0? You can see we see 26.0. So even though i was uh, defined or declared as an integer, when we added it to the double, it gave us a double. So that's something maybe to keep in mind for your programs. So let's try the others. So i minus x. Um, let's try i times x. Notice I'm using, oops, notice I'm using the asterisk. And I'm going to use i divided by x. Notice it's a, uh, was that a forward slash? And then I'm going to use the modulus. And this one's going to just use some, some different values. So 5 divided by 4, it goes into it one time. And 1 is the remainder. So the modulus gives us the remainder. So let's take a look at what that looks like. And as you can see, we have i plus x, which is this. We have 26, 14, 120, and 3.3 .3 repeating out to 5. So notice the... Uh, number of decimal places there. And the 1, remember the 1 is what's re the left over. So if I change this to 3, the answer will be 2. Because 3 goes into 5 once with a 2 remainder. Okay, put that back to 4. Next, if we want to combine this into a string, and this is a little different uh, for those of you coming from Python. Uh, Python, you need to convert it. Uh, but Java lets you do something like this, whereas Python would not. Python would give you an error. So we see x is 6.0. Now we can also print out, oops, 
lost that. We can also print out like this. Uh, so I can say string dot format. Again, uh, most of my students will be coming from Python, so that's why I'm, I mention Python a lot in these videos. But if you're not, just uh, enjoy the extra extra tutorial. Um, X. So the string format. So X is percent %s as a string. So X is replaced into here. And if I run that, we we'll should see. Da, da, da. X is 6.0, X is 6.0. So both of these methods work. And then the last thing I want to show you is I'm going to print a blank line. And then our Boolean is tired. So I'm going to hit run. And we should see true. So we could use that, let's say something like this. So if is tired. Uh, you know, boy, I'm tired. Else, now notice it's a Boolean, so it's either true or false. So if it's not true, then it's gotta be false. So I'm gonna say, I'm wide awake. So let's run that. And again, this is a little review. Um, or actually, uh, I guess a preview, because we haven't done that one yet. So because this is true, boy, I'm tired. Now if I change this to false, and I think this is coming up in, yes, the next lesson I just checked. Okay, so so I'm not tired, I'm wide awake. Um, come back to that part uh, after you watch the next lesson. Sorry, I got that out of order. Okay, good luck.